guys and welcome to the chroma side of YouTube so I have done a live video showing you how I mix my paints well this is going to be the painting that goes along with that live video I have the brown that I've mixed on camera and it has sat and all of the um, air bubbles are out of the paint so I have the purple I have the orange, that would be the one that I've dropped my flow troll in, <laughs> oh you guys, the yellow, the, uh, this one is aqua green or I like to call it light blue and I have actually taken it upon myself to paint my canvas blue, um, I like to use pure dimethicone in my paints. And I have come to realize that when I add the dimethicone in the paint, it causes the paint to separate from the canvas sometimes. And really, I don't know why. But, you know. <laughs> um, I have decided that I'm only going to put dimethicone in four of the colors. Just because. So, cosmetic grade pure dimethicone. I keep it in a dropper. And I'm going to put two drops in each of these colors. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So, as you all know, my mixture is one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and water to consistency. That being said, if you want to know what that really means, please pop over to the live that I did this morning and you will understand. Um, I'm actually really glad that some of you requested me to do a live video, or not a live video, but a, uh, a mixing video, because now you kind when I tell you my mixes, you kind of understand a little better. I dropped my stick earlier, but I have one right here that I can use. So I've added my dimethicone to my colors. I'm only going to do it to four colors. Um, I have seven colors in all. So I have my larger cup. And I'm just going to start adding colors. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this green. Why not? No rhyme or reason. I'm not even doing, um, I'm not even paying attention really. White. Did I already add purple? I don't know if I did or not, but I'm going to add white. Purple. Brown. Orange. Now, um, let's add some green throughout there. Let's do aqua. Yellow. white and 
I think that's pretty much enough. So I'm actually, I have all my lids over here. I can sit these to the side and I will be able to use those in another pour. So that's good. Set them to the side, set them to the side. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to do a, one of my, one of the usual, just normal, flip cups because I just thoroughly enjoy those. Okay. Make sure you guys are still in focus. And I'm going to push forward and pull back. Look at those cells. in the cup. Do you guys see that? Okay. I love this. All right, here we go. Before I tilt it, I'm just going to run my comb through. going to tilt. All right, now I'm gonna wipe my hands and I'm going to torch. And I'm kind of hoping I get some really good cells out of this. I love the effect that running my, my comb through gave me. It's very interesting how it pulled the paint. So, I want to do a test really quick. I want to see if I can cause another ripple. So, I'm thinking what I want to do, see if I have any more paint in the cup that I can make it ripple. And I'm going to tilt this down. That looks cool to me. Let's see how it looks torched. I'm going to do it again because I don't really like this corner. All right. 
right, I think my work here is done. So this is interesting. The, the comb helped shape the flow of the paint. Um, it didn't really give me the effect that I thought it would, but I'm really happy with the effect that I have now. Um, I do like the shape of all of this paint together. Um, I don't think I'll do this color combo um, very much because I think the brown just made it a bit too muddy. So I think next time I'm just going to leave the brown out. But this was fun. Um, this was really, really fun. Uh, I'm very happy that I did it. Uh, I'm probably going to use that technique again so that I can uh, kind of uh, get a better idea of where my paint is going to lay. Also, I do like this uh, vein look that the comb totally caused. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I love how the purple fades. So um, I am happy with the results of this painting. I'm just not too fond of this corner here, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I like the design we decided to put in there, so that's cool. Um, I hope you guys try something like this. This is very fun. I, I just, I really enjoyed myself doing this. Um, so I just realized that this part of my canvas is not covered. So I'm going to turn it around here and I'm going to cover it as best I can. There we go. All right, did you guys see? I hope you all saw. Okay, so there you have it. This is all covered. Um, I'm just going to check my corners, make sure those are covered. Well, there she is. I like that a lot. Um, it's different. It's not different, but it's different. Um, I like the flow of the paint, so that makes me happy. I like the colors. I like the cells. Let me take you down and give you guys an up close. Okay, here we go. Now we're moving into where the comb Kind of brought those lines in and I love that effect turned out really cool I love this purple and green Let me make sure you guys are focused and then the yellow in there next to that green that one little strike I love it more purple kind of fading to white the brown and the orange and then that, that teal is electrifying right there. I love that. I'm going to go down here to where we played with the paint a little bit. That 
design we created. I really like that. Very cool. All right, let's put you back up. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Again, if you like what I do, please give me a like, hit subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications whenever I do new videos. I hope that you really learned something today and that you were totally inspired. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, y'all. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for a like and hit the bell. That'll give you notifications when I post new videos. I really enjoyed painting today and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you get inspired to do all types of things. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, y'all.